Okay, as we continue with section 8.4, the first problem here, this is going to be a quadratic equation because I can see that eventually we're going to get a k squared, but it is not at all in the form that we need it in. So let's start off by distributing. 4k times k is 4k squared. 4k times 6 is a positive 24k. And this is equal to 6. Now, I need this side to say 0 because I need this to be in standard form. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. 4k squared plus 24k minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. It's not really a trick. It's more of a technique. See how every one of these numbers is divisible by 2? I prefer to keep numbers as simple as possible. It makes factoring easier. It makes the quadratic formula easier. Let's divide everything by 2. And of course, the reason I can do this is this is an equation. So we end up getting 2k squared plus 12k minus 3 equals 0. Now, I don't believe this is going to factor. And I wouldn't waste a lot of time trying to. I, I, can, I can pretty much tell, okay, yeah, this one's not going to factor. Um, but again, on a if you're in the middle of a test and you can't see that it factors fast, maybe it doesn't. Just move on to the formula. So in this case, a is 2, the leading coefficient, b is 12, and c is a negative 3. So when we go to my formula, the quadratic formula, Notice I claimed it was mine, ha. Huh? When we go to the quadratic formula, we end up getting the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by, and that bar needs to go the whole way, 2 times a. So k is equal to a negative 12 plus or minus the square root of something all over 4. Now what's under the radical is very crucial that we do this correctly. So let's see. 12 squared is 144 and Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 3 is a positive 24. Okay, so I end up getting I end up getting a negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 plus 24 is 168. And this is all over. Now I'm going to turn the paper over. So this is what we have so far. We have a negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 168 all divided by 4. This is my answer. This is what k equals. But I can make this better. Here's what I can do. 168 has a perfect square as a factor, and that would be the number 4. You can always find that out using your calculator. Try dividing perfect squares into this number on your calculator. Try dividing 4 into it, 9, 16, 25, 36. Those are your perfect squares. The largest one that's going to go into it is evenly, of course, that is a factor, is 4. So the square root of 168 becomes the square root of 4 times the square root of 42. See, 4 times 42 gives me the 168. But the reason that that's so good is because the square root of 4 is a perfect square. So as I continue, I get negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 4 becomes 2 
the square root of 42 remains, and this is all over 4. Now, to finish this problem, what I basically do is I look at this term, this is one term, and I look at this term, and I look at this term. The quadratic formula ultimately gives you three terms, two in the top and one in the bottom. Each one of these terms, all three of these terms, this one, this one, this one, are all divisible by two. If one of them isn't, then you're done. You know? It's got to happen to all of them. But to finish this problem correctly, I divide by two. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6, plus or minus. When I divide this by 2, please notice it doesn't affect what's under the radical. It only affects what's in front. So that 2 divided by 2 becomes a 1, so it virtually disappears. And then on the bottom, we have the, we have the 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So I end up getting my answers, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 42 all over 2. And those are actually two answers. You could write one out with a plus and one out with a minus. And we're done.